The journey continues through the Himalayas until you reach the highest point of the highway, Babu Sar Top, standing at an impressive 4,000 plus meters above sea level. A little while after Bubble Sir Top, you then enter one of the highest paved roads to exist on planet Earth, the Karakoram Highway. This marvellous piece of engineering is cut through the Karakoram Mountains and zigzags its way into China where it then becomes the China National Highway. The Karakoram Mountains are the second highest mountains on Earth. They connect to the Himalayas, which is why they're also known as the Trans-Himalayas or Outer Himalayas. The transition from the Himalayas to the Karakoram Mountains, spectacular. The landscape change is drastic, from lush green to then dry and rocky, featuring majestic rivers that boasted some of the most gorgeous river beaches. The Karakoram Highway was a joint mammoth project between Pakistan and China, costing almost $2 billion and 20 years to construct. It's often coined as the eighth wonder of the world, and with no surprise, because this highway is the road trip of a lifetime. Look at this road. I have got dirt in my mouth. And we can't shut the windows because it's too hot and the AC isn't working. Six hours later, I arrived in Gilgit City and the next morning hopped into a van that took me on a two hour drive into a region known as Paradise on Earth, Hunza Valley. What you just watched is my most favourite scene out of episode one of my Pakistan series. And you can watch the full episode, the link will be up here somewhere. It took me around an entire day to put together the Karakoram Highway scene and I'll share a snippet of the behind the scenes. Now, I tend to edit to a soundtrack because music is make or break. It's a huge part of filmmaking as it can reel the audience in and make them feel a particular emotion. So I've been collecting soundtracks for my Pakistan series for the last year and a half now, way before I even started the project. And when I came across this particular soundtrack, I immediately loved it, bought it and put it away for the perfect scene. Fast forward a year and a half, I'm going through the footage for the Karakoram Highway. And as I'm writing the script, this soundtrack popped into my head and I thought, oh, I think this may be the one. So now I had to chop and change the soundtrack and move parts around in order for it to suit the scene. So if you watch again, but this time round pay attention to the music, you'll notice the beat pick up for the drone shots, the rhythm will then drop during a voiceover and it picks up again during certain points. So I'm completely rearranging the soundtrack, but it has to be done in a way where it still flows. So it's an incredibly long, difficult and tedious task that requires hours and hours of elbow grease 
immense focus, precision and creativity. Research is also a huge part of all of my projects because every episode of mine is packed with so much information and I've had a lot of help from some wonderful individuals from the animation to the drone shots. I have never owned a drone in my life. I don't think I could even fly one if I ever tried. So just know that every drone shot that you see in any of my content, none of them are mine. They've all been very kindly gifted to me and I list their names in the description box. In regards to research, now you can't always trust everything that you read on the internet because it's not always 100% correct, especially when it comes to things such as the wilderness, and the tallest mountains in the world. So it's very important to be connected to geologists, researchers and mountaineers. And it's my great privilege that an individual who has massively helped me with understanding the Himalayas, Karakorams and Hindu Kush mountains is a gentleman who has written not one, not two, not three, but nine books on the mountains of Pakistan. And I list his details in the description box as well. It took me six months to put the very first video of this series together, which is the documentary that covers my entire year in Pakistan. It's almost at a quarter of a million views and you can watch my documentary by clicking on the link up here somewhere. Then following this documentary is episode one, which features the Karakoram Highway scene that you just watched. And episode one, you can watch again by clicking up here somewhere. Those that are up to date and you've watched my documentary and episode one, do you have a favorite scene? You now know that mine is the Karakoram Highway and I cannot begin to tell you just how many times I have watched this scene. I watched it over and over during the edit, then after the export, and I still continue to watch it over and over now that it's up on YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised if majority of the views on that video are from me. I have a lot of memories tied to this scene, which I guess makes me emotionally attached because I remember for years I'd watch hours and hours of videos about the KKH and I'd read articles about the KKH and then when I was finally there on the eighth wonder of the world, I was pretty starstruck and everything just seemed so surreal. So now that you know my favourite scene, I would love to know yours. Comment below, I always love hearing from you. I read every single comment, I never miss a single comment. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you've shown me so far. I'm so eager to release episode two.